Hi everyone, this is Hello Angel Doll Design. Today we are making this cute dress, step-by-step -step tutorial. The dress has a snap closure at the front of the dress. Please support us by subscribing. Subscription is free, like is free, comment is also free. If you're just stopping by, remember to subscribe before you exit this video and thumbs up on our video so that YouTube can push us out to the algorithm. Comment down below and I will do my best to respond to you. And let's jump right to this dressmaking. First thing that you have to do, you grab your basic pattern paper. So this is my basic pattern paper. Mine already includes seam allowance. So this is the back. For the back, there is no seam allowance at the center back yet. When I place my pattern paper on my fabric, then I will add seam allowance when cutting my fabric. I have full pattern paper for the front and I've also add my seam allowance at the shoulder, armhole, side seam. I did not add seam allowance at the neckline. I want the neckline to be a little bit deeper, so I am not going to add seam allowance at the neckline. So when you are making your pattern paper or when you want to adjust your pattern paper, make sure you put your front pattern paper on fold and trace it all out. I am going to show you how to adjust the front pattern paper. We are not adjusting the back pattern. We are not adjusting the sleeve. First thing that you have to do, this is your front pattern paper. And this is the center crease. I will place my measuring tape like this. I'm going to measure three and a half centimeters. If you're using inches, you can measure 1.25 inch or one and a half inch. Depends on how you want it to get deeper at this other side of the pattern. So I'm taking three and a half centimeter and then I will come down to the waist. I will also place my measuring tape, measure down three and a half. You're using inches, you can measure 1.25 inch or one and a half inch. Depends on how you want it to be deep on this other side of the pattern. Once you've done that, you take your ruler, you connect the mark together. I have connected the mark together. The next thing that you have to do, you take your scissors, you cut it out. I have cut out the pattern. This is how it is. Right now we have two front pattern. So I will place my pattern paper on my fabric and cut it out. When you place your pattern paper on your fabric, when you are cutting them out, for this side of the front, you are going to add seam allowance. So for me, I'm adding three centimeter seam allowance because I am going to be attaching a buttonhole at the front right here. And on this other side, you also repeat the same process. You add three centimeter seam allowance. I have pinned my board pattern paper on my fabric. This is the front pattern. I add three centimeter on this side. I add three centimeter on this side. So what I'm going to do, I will take my scissors and cut it out. When I pin my pattern paper on my fabric, I just pin it on one piece. You can see that. And I also pin it on this side, just one piece of fabric. So I'm not going to use the same fabric to line it. I'm going to use another fabric to line in my top dress. So I am using black fabric to line in the top dress. I have pinned the May fabric on the lining. This is how it is. This is the back of my May fabric. This is the front of my lining. So the front of my May fabric is facing the front of my lining. What I'm going to do, I will take my scissors and cut it out. And also go ahead and cut out your sleeve and your skirt. First thing that you have to do, you open your front top dress. This is the two pieces that we have already cut out and you pick the back pieces, put the shoulder seam together. Once you have done putting the shoulder seam together, take it to your sewing machine, stitch the shoulder seam with one centimeter seam allowance. Depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric. Once you have done that, you take your lining. This is the front of my lining and you put the both shoulder seam together like this once you have done putting them together take it to your sewing machine stitch the shoulder seam with one centimeter seam allowance once you have done that you take your skirt 
This is the front of my skirt, so I will just open it. I'm going to take the back pieces I am putting them together. So you put the both side seam of the skirt together, take it to your sewing machine, stitch the side seam with your seam allowance, depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric. And you also take the second pieces, put the both side seam together, stitch the side seam with your seam allowance so once you have done that overlock the both raw edges or use zigzag to overlock the raw edges once you have done overlocking the raw edges set your sewing machine to the longest stitch you are going to stitch a gather stitch thread at the top edge of your skirt I have top stitched the shoulder seam. I take it to my ironing board, I press the seam apart. And I've also stitched my lining. I take it to my ironing board, I press the seam apart. The next thing that you have to do, you are going to place your lining on your top dress. Well, when you are placing your lining, make sure that both front fabric are facing each other. So place your lining on your top dress. Go ahead and pin around the neckline of your top dress so before you start pinning around the neckline what you are going to do remember to measure your zipper seam allowance if you're using buttonhole and also measure your buttonhole seam allowance so i have measured my zipper seam allowance which is 1.5 centimeter and i repeat the same process on this other side and i will take my pin i will pin around the neckline once i am done pinning i will take it to my sewing machine and top stitch around the neck line once i am done stitching i will take my scissor snip around the neckline push the seam towards the lining and under stitch the neckline once you have under stitched the neckline then put the center front together so you just put the center front together both front fabric is still facing each other you top stitch the center front with one centimeter seam allowance you top stitch the center front with one centimeter seam allowance once you have done on stitching turn your dress inside out take it to your ironing board and give it a good press I have top stitch around the neckline of my top dress this is how it is the next thing that you have to do we are going to take the measurement at the center front of the fabric when we place our pattern paper on our fabric we add three centimeter and we use one centimeter to stitch it all the way down now i have two centimeter left you take your measuring tape you place it at the center front, you measure down two centimeter, make sure to measure it all the way down and take your ruler and your marker, you connect the mark together. You also come down to this side, measure it all the way down two centimeter, connect all the mark together, which I have already done that. Once you have done that, the next thing that you have to do, you are going to put them together like this so that the front is now one pieces instead of two front top dress take it to your sewing machine just give it a little stitch from here to here that is the two centimeter you stitch it together once you have done that the next thing you, you are going to put the side seam of your top dress together put them together like this both front fabric are facing each other pin it in place stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric you pick your lining put them together make sure that both front fabric are facing each other you go ahead and stitch the side seam together and you also come down to this other side of the top dress that is the side seam 
make fabric together, both front fabric facing each other, stitch it with your seam allowance, lining together, both front fabric together, stitch it with your one centimeter seam allowance, depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric. I have stitched the size seam of my top dress and I use that opportunity to install my snap. So go ahead and install your snap or you can stitch a buttonhole on your top dress making. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to cut a piece of fabric. Make sure it is very long or you can take the total waistline of your top dress, times that by two, the measurement that you get, that will be the weight you can either add few inches to that or centimeter to that if you want more volume on your gather fabric so i'm going to tell you the length of my fabric the length that i have is three inch or 7.6 centimeter i have already hemmed my all around i just give it a very tiny hem and i've also stitched a gather stitch thread on the fabric what i'm going to do i will open my top dress so i'm going to pin the top dress and the lining together at the same time so i will place my fabric like this make sure that both front fabric are facing each other i will go ahead and gather it at the waistline of my top dress i have pinned my raffle fabric at the waistline of my top dress this is how it look the next thing that you have to do take it to your sewing machine top stitch it all around when you are stitching make sure that it's not up to your seam allowance then once you top stitch remove the gather stitch thread then take your gathered skirt gather it at the waistline of your top dress all over again Pin it all around, take it to your sewing machine. By that time, you are stitching your seam allowance. My seam allowance is 1.3 centimeter or half an inch. I have stitched my raffle fabric and my skirt together. This is how it look. You can see that the purpose why we have to stitch the raffle fabric before stitching our skirt so that the raffle fabric is at the top of our skirt. Take it to your overlocker. Make sure you overlock all the raw edges. I have done that already. The waistline, the center back. So when you are stitching your skirt at the waistline of your top dress, make sure you are pinning your lining and your made fabric together at the same time. And you top stitch it all over around. And for the center back, you will also notice that both the lining and the made fabric, I just put them together and I overlocked the raw edges. I did not separate the lining. So what I'm going to do, I am going to stitch my zipper at the center back. Make sure to take the measurement of where you want your zipper to end. So you place your measuring tape at the waistline. My measurement is going to be 14 inches if you're using centimeter measure 35.5 centimeter once you have done that place your zipper at the center but pin it all the way around i have also shown on my video how you can pin your zipper at the center back the way i usually do it once i pin my zipper at the center back i will thread my needle use hand stitch to stitch it first before taking it to my sewing machine and top stitch so that is what i'm going to do once you have stitched your zipper at the center back of your top dress the next thing that you have to do you are going to stitch the side seam of your sleeve so what you are going to do you pick your sleeve put both front fabric together like this once you put the both front fabric together take it to your sewing machine you are stitching the side seam of your sleeve once you stitch the side seam of your sleeve then take it to your overlocker overlock the raw edges or use zigzag to overlock the raw edges My
I have stitched my zipper at the center back of my dress. The next thing that you have to do, you just zip your dress. You can see how beautiful that is. When you stitch your zipper, there is always excess at the zipper head. So what you are going to do, these raw edges, you fold it inside like this, and then you turn it over, take your pin, pin that together. Once you pin that together, you can stitch it across or give it a straight stitch. Also repeat the same process on this other side. You open your zipper like this. You can see the way I open it. You fold it across, fold it all over again, secure that with a pin. You can either stitch it across or give it a straight stitch. Once you have done that, use that opportunity to finish stitching your center back. You just go ahead and close it all the way down and also hem your dress once you have done that use that opportunity to stitch your sleeve i have already stitched the side seam of my sleeve and i take it to my overlock i overlock the raw edges and you can see that i stitch a gather stitch thread at the top edge of the sleeve when you make your sleeve or when you make a pattern paper and the, there is a little bit of hair size because you want the sleeve hair to have ease stitch a gather stitch thread at the top edge once you're done that turn your sleeve inside out so this is the front of my sleeve this is my top dress this is the inside of my top dress i'm going to be putting the both sides seam together like this and then you secure that with a pin and then you pick your sleeve make sure to notch the sleeve head put the sleeve head and the shoulder seam make sure that they are matched and you secure that with a pin so what you are going to do you are going to start pinning if there is a little bit of excess all you have to do you just pull it a little bit but when you are stitching that gather will not show when you are done stitching your sleeve so i am pinning my sleeve right now once i am done pinning i will take it to my sewing machine and stitch my sleeve and hand my dress and also finish stitching the center back. This is the final look of our dress beautiful dress to make step by step tutorial you can see the snap closure you can attach a snap or buttonhole i have stitched my sleeve you can see that there is no gather right here at the sleeve head that is how you do it when you have sleeve that has more ease at the sleeve head just the way i showed you you can also see this there is no gather look and i've finished stitching the center back and I've also hemmed my dress and I take it to my ironing board. I just give it a nice good press. Thank you all so much for watching. Five to six years old child dressmaking. You can even make it for older age. And have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye for now.